Well, the horses are leaving the paddock for this evening's non-wagering event, Mid-America Harness Drivers Club, a trot of one mile. A field of six, the one is Primo Rager, owned by Bud Hatfield of Columbus, Ohio, trained by Milton Smith with Bud Hatfield. Number two is Village Advocate, owned in partnership by Roger Bartley and Roger Bartley Jr. They're in Lockbourne, Ohio, trained by Roger Bartley Jr., David Ehrenberg II, the driver. The three is a royal decree, held by the Homestock Farm of Millersburg, Ohio, trained and driven by Dean Beachy. Number four is High Hill Spirit, owned by Timothy Twaddle of Sacramento, California, trained by Milton Smith with Bob Chapman. Number five is Overnight Air, owned by Bartley and Bartley Jr. of Ohio, trained by Roger Bartley with Roger Bartley Jr. And for the outside of the six, the six is Royal Sugar, owned, trained, and driven by John Ryan Melsheimer of Hopewell, Ohio, in the Sulky. That's the field for the non-wagering event, Mid-America Harness Drivers Club. They'll go to the post, they'll take one score, and go straight to the gate, post time, momentarily. Mid-America Harness Drivers Club non-wagering event, a field of six, moving up and moving in. From the rail out, Primo Rager, Village Advocate, to Royal Decree, High Hill Spirit, Overnight Air, and Royal Sugar on the outside. The gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. Field in motion. They're all fan trotting and firing out of there for the lead. There goes High Hill Spirit getting the first call. Off stride went the one Primo Rager. Driving up on the outside, Royal Sugar is looking to march on towards the top here. A Royal Decree to the inside after a gap of two has come away. Trotting in third, fourth along the inside, overnight air. And then we got their racing in fifth as they step over to the opening quarter mile mark of the race here. On top of the field, leading the way, Royal Sugar. Over to the opening quarter, the opening quarter in 29 and one fifth, and on by the stand for the first time, and heading on down to the half, and out there on top, leading the way, Royal Sugar, leading the way here by length and a quarter. Into the inside, racing in two there, that is High Hill Spirit. Third along the inside, a Royal Decree. Fourth there, that is Overnight Air. Gapped out in fifth, that is Primo Rager trailing the field. As they step around the clubhouse, turn in front of the paddock, and on over to the half. On top of the field, leading the way here, Royal Sugar and John Ryan out there, dictating the fractions here, leading it by length and a quarter into the inside high hill spirit is still tracking at that garden spot in two they're halfway home and 101 and four fifths to the inside racing in third of royal decree fourth on the inside of that is overnight air and tipping to the outside here comes primo rager driving down the back side heads are pointed towards three quarters and off stride out of the two hole went the four high hill spirit on top royal sugar continues to lead the way here primo rager to the outside after that slow early beginning is grind it out first over the outside in two, off stride goes the three, a royal decree. Now inside in third as they trot by the three quarter mile mark of the race, 133 and four fifths. That is overnight air. They'll trot the final turn and head for home of the Mid America Harness Drivers Club and on top of the field. That's Royal Sugar to the inside. Primo Rager trots in second to the top of the lane. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come and Royal Sugar with a late tier is trying to take them gate to wire to the outside. Overnight air is charging hard here, but it's a little too late. Well, this is Royal Sugar coast to coast. Overnight air to go second. A Royal Decree gets up for third. Primo Rager was fourth and fifth and last. High Hill Spear at the time of the mile. 204 flat. Royal Sugar. Stepping trackside to the winner circle, the winner of the non-wagering Mid-America Harness Drivers Club event, timed in 204 flat. Here's the six, Royal Sugar, going gate to wire. A five-year-old bay guarding by Striking Sabra out of a Royal Prestige mare, Royal Sweep, owned, trained, and driven by John Ryan Melsheimer of Hopewell, Ohio. The six, Royal Sugar, home a winner in 204 flat. Here's the rundown for the Mid-America Harness Drivers Club, the one Primo Rager, four, the two Village Advocate was scratched, the three, a Royal Decree, three. The four, High Hill Spirit, five. The five, Overnight Air, two. And the six, Royal Sugar, the race winner. Rate checking, four scratch, three, five, two, one on the bottom.